Hello everybody, so you're Alejandro Del Fuego, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, um, I was really close in figuring out how to make a, um, fence last episode, so I might as well do that right now. Make some of those. Two. Whoops, I uh, made two different types of, um, fences. Oh well. Nothing wrong with mixing and matching. Hey there, you can't get in, can you? No. Also, I'm... Because of what happened last episode, I'm actually going to make some armor. So I'm going to smelt all my, um... Iron real quick. And while all that's happening, get this out, this out, this out, this out. I'm gonna go down and mine some. Just for a little bit. You know, just so I can get some resources and not waste time. We should guys back up to the surface in a few minutes. I hear lava? That sounds... That sounds like lava. Just put a crafting table right there and use it real quick to make myself another pickaxe. Or two. Also, I probably should have made a torch, real quick. Or, where are my torches? Um, I think I left them upstairs. Oh well. There's lava! Not sure I'm excited about this. Well, at least I know I had, at least I know there's lava down here for um, you know, the purposes of making obsidian. By the way, there's something I wanted to make last episode, but, you know, completely spaced out on it. So I can climb up, climb up, um, climb up and down the mine easier. Also, it's daytime. Also, I up, upped the uh, render distance to hope, to hope, in the hopes that it would load something new. Like that island over there. Yep, so now I'm out here just, um... Let me see, I've got any dirt. i got plenty of dirt. Might as well expand this platform quite a bit while I'm here. I'll be back in a moment, guys. Just gotta chop down the last of the trees. Also, see if I can get some more seeds. Also, I did a little research in between episodes. The ch you don't get two seeds just by breaking, um, you know, watching the columns. What it is is when you break, um. When you break wheat, you get a chance of getting between zero and three seeds. So I guess it averages out to two, one and a half. No sense in bringing more trees while I got plenty of birch wood. So I got some more fences. 
and the farm is this way. I could easily just make a ladder from here, but you know what? Screw it, I'm lazy. I'll just take the fall damage and break my legs. Hello, chicken. You need to go over here. Also, I know it looks pretty. Just deal with it, guys, okay? I know it doesn't look pretty, I mean. what I meant to say. This is just temporary. This is all just temporary. Everything we do is temporary. I'm not trying to get all philosophical, I'm being serious, because I may not live on this island forever. If I find a better place to live, I'm going for it. wheat in my thing. Watch what happens when I have wheat in my hand. <gasps> oh crap! I, I freaking went into my inventory and why does it spawn me underwater? Also, I could be taking full advantage of another thing that's in Minecraft, but I'm just not. Lost my crafting bench. Also, where'd the cyanor come from? Was it just... Was it just there? Spider at bro. Freaking. Oh, I die a lot. Since I'm in here, I might as well grab some things like this. Iron ingots. And these iron ingots too. And let's throw in some more iron ore, why not? Got some armor. Can I shift click it on? Yep, I can shift click it on. Look at that. Look at this. I am nice and protected for my own stupidity. Look at that. Get out of F5 mode. I thought I had a lot more dirt just lying around. Guess not. Where's my shovel? Oh god! I knew there was a creeper outside my house, and I completely let myself off guard. You know what? I wonder what happens if we, um, can we smelt granite and make it prettier? Can we craft it to make it prettier? We certainly can. Never 
three shovels in here. Or am I not pulling these out? This I needed shovels and I don't need arrows. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Look at this. Look at this. Put one there. Put one there. Get me some shears. We have sheep around. I know that. Where are our lovely sheep at? Hello, sheep. No! What did I do? Right click. Right click is what I need. Right click. Sorry, sheepy. Didn't mean to, like, almost kill you. Ha ha! You died. Okay, so yeah, so this is what, this is what is allowing these things to survive and kill me. Stuff like this. Any two by two, or like, no, one by one by two area over with shade allows for enemies or harmful mobs to persist when the sun comes up and not burn to death. As we saw that the second that um, skeleton tried to come out and kill me, we were able to immediately kill it. Because you know why? There was no shade to protect it. Also, I'm going to make my house higher by lowering the ground around it. Make some polished diorite as a floor. Also, along with granite. Because it looks pretty, okay? Also, it's nighttime. I'm gonna do some inside touches. You guys are stuck in the floor. You have no choice. I need food. Also, I just remember something. String can become wool. Do I have any wood? I have three wood. With this three, where's my um, wool? Here it is. With this, with that wool. And this wool, and this three wood, I can make myself a bed. And with this bed, I can sleep, except there are monsters nearby. Now since there are monsters nearby, I can't sleep. Now if I'd only gotten the bed sooner... If I'd only been able to make the bed sooner... <sighs> I'm gonna try something real quick. Just did a quick, quick bit of organizing. No diorite stairs? Oh well. Well, at least I can make cobblestone stairs. Cause I'm gonna plateau my island. I'm well, not plateau. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put my house in the high ground. Then lower everything to one level. But first, I gotta get out there and slay what's left of those monsters. Should mostly be spiders, maybe one or two creepers. Ugh. Those goddamn creepers. 
Oh, I was away from you, you goddamn creeper. I was walking away from you. Cause screw what nature has set up for us. Also, I learned that spiders are neutral mobs. They will attack you if you attack them, but I think, I think since I'm not attacking them directly, since I'm not attacking them right now, they're not, um, you know, doing much to me. Live and let live, I suppose, is their philosophy. But if they try and hurt me, I'm gonna kill them. Close enough. Really, but I just learned the spiders are kind of peaceful. Good enough? Please? Yay! I can sleep the night away. Means I no longer have to be plagued by death mobs. Also, I've decided something with the abundance of sand I have from all this terraforming I've been doing. Give myself a full 360 view using glass. myself some nice morning breakfast. Throw some sand in there. Grab some more sand. Throw some more sand in there. And I'll be back. I'm just going to continue more um, terraforming. I'll be back in a bit once I got a nice respectable amount of progress. Actually, you know what? A little bit of um, plateauing is fine, but not the amount that we are currently forced to deal with. So I'm just gonna assume this is a lemon place in my place. Place these back down, and there'll be like one or two levels. Okay, got a little bit of that done. Let's check the progress of our glass. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Don't need don't need a whole bunch of glass for a lot of things right now. Raw mutton. Wait, I thought mut I thought like I thought um I thought sheep didn't drop food. That's a I remember that's a big thing a lot of um YouTubers complain about. Also gonna plant some trees so we have some trees growing. So right now we got no wood. Oh, we got wood. Also, buttons. Mm. Or pressure plates, I rather. We can place those around. Also, I got more dirt so I can put this in here.
Also, why are those sandstone? Why are those sandstone blocks? Ah, oh, it's just so nice to be able to go to bed when the sun sets and wake up as the sun rises to avoid all those horrible monstrosities that come out at night. There's no reason for the stairs to be doing anything like this. Nah, that one's just being unreasonable. <sighs> Are you kidding me? We're getting there. Got a cow trapped. And I've got a sheep trapped. And I have no chickens. However, I can get this pig in here. Fill this up with cobblestone so no monsters spawn. God dang it, pig. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Good. Now I need another pickaxe, that's why I came down here. Now the thing about these big trees is they only come down when you chop down all the bits. If there's any left over, then none of the none of the um none of the leaves start to decay. The leaves only decay once the entire um the entire base has been destroyed. I mean it doesn't really make sense, but that's how Minecraft physics works. Or rather Minecraft biology. Also, I'm not really concerned with organization right this second. Yeah, so let me get that cooked pork chop out. Harsh, but I needed the need the meat. Hello, piggy pig. Come here. Hey. Check it. Look at this. Look at this. Pig. Ugh, oh, fine. God dang it. You're coming, Mr. Sheep. Mr. Sheep. I thought we had a second sheep around here. And a pig! What the heck? Where are all my animals going? Let me 
do something mean. You're still alive. Let's put some uh, torches around here, try and get some nice light, so that way more things can spawn, hopefully. By more things, I mean more peaceful things. Oh, dang it. All the way back to the house to grab a bucket. Who said you could leave? Actually, you know what? I should probably remove the pressure plates that are leaving. Should only have them able to enter. 